Hello and welcome to Chatterbix. My name is David. Today's show is a little bit different. Unbeknownst to Joe, I've arranged for someone to come onto the podcast and pretend to be an England cricketer called Alex Lees. Joe has no idea whatsoever. Joe thinks that the man he's about to chat to has played a number of times for England. Joe also thinks that I'm really nervous about meeting this cricketer, but I wasn't because he's not a cricketer. He's called Ben. Joe's a little bit cocky at the top. He doesn't really care about cricket and he doesn't really care about cricketers. Hi. Hi. How are you? I was fine until I just done... Until I just put this on, now I'm sort of no, really nervous. Okay, who are we, who are we chatting with? Alex Lees. Alex Lees, I'm going to have to Google. Uh, hang on a minute, let me... Um... Lees. Uh, L-E-E-S, yes. Okay, Alex Lees. What have you been up... What have you been up to today? Like, Honestly, so I just got up this morning. I was like, where are my fucking headphones? You sound chaotic. You sound... I am. <laughs> I'm not chaotic. Uh, well, I'm sleeping two foot from the table that I'm at right now because I'm in the... What's this like? Is this like meeting like a barge owner that you said is like fucking amazing? A barge a bar- owner? I'm never going to be in awe of barge <laughs> owner. <laughs> Anyway, how are you? I, I just want to... You are all over the shop. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like what I love. I know, so I, know. I know. I just want to distract my mind. <laughs> I know, but you're, you're sort of asking me something and then going, but no, but... Uh, and so it's... Oh, what were you like with Matt Taylor? It's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Can you help me and distract my mind, please? This is so much going on. Um... I'm all right, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> you sort of, remember with Matt Taylor, you were like, I just want him to like me. Yeah, and, I know, uh, I love football, I get it, but I've got nothing. Okay, how are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm all right, full time of ask. <laughs> well, so, Alex, how did you get Alex to come on then today? So, I just threw, I, so originally it was going to be a guy called Matt Parkinson. Oh, yeah. What do you know of Matt Parkinson? He's a batsman for, who's played for England. Is that correct? <laughs> Is oh, it? fucking hell. Oh. oh, fucking hell he's here. <laughs> well, you know he's coming. It's ten past. <laughs> I hate how fucking <laughs> casual you are about it. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll, I can act panic. Okay. Is he in the waiting room? This is like Kyle Walker coming on. Okay, I would be panicked. So, I played for England a lot. Yeah. Just a fucking good footballer. Yeah, okay. And I imagine if Kyle Walker... You've also, you're like, also keeping him waiting. Oh, my God. I actually want to piss. <laughs> <laughs> Do it under your desk. Hi. Oh, <laughs> hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. Good morning. Good how, morning, gents. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? <laughs> David's, yeah, uh, David's as soon as your name popped up, he needed a wee. Because oh, okay. you made him quite nervous. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Thanks so much for uh, getting involved. I think it's me that should be nervous, chaps. About the, every time I turn on the telly, I see one of you two. I oh, know, it's irritating, oh. isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen myself on the telly in ages. Ah, dear. How are you? Maybe if I get some runs, they might put me on the telly. (laughs) Um, So David's uh, not coping too well because he's an enormous, enormous fan. So he's... I just used to, honestly, when it... (sighs) Now, at this point, Ben congratulated me on Afterlife and not Joe. And Joe didn't get offended, but I definitely saw that he noticed that his name wasn't mentioned. Uh, a fan, presumably a fan of cricket, not of mine. You would have to be a pretty big fan of cricket too. Uh, oh, yeah, but you know, we're dealing with an England cricketer here. It's mad. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. It's kind of you to say, but I'm big fans of yours, particularly after, like, congratulations, David. That was brilliant. Me and my missus, uh, we've watched all of that. Oh, thank you. Is this... Was it our doing that it's really early, by the way? Well, no. So, so um, 
so I'm, I'm currently in Loughborough. The um, ECB has a performance centre in Loughborough. And on a Monday, we'd normally start, at, or with what we're doing at the moment, we'd normally start at nine o'clock. Um, what are, what are so, you doing at the moment? So it's kind of like a warm down camp from our tour to Australia. So yeah. I toured... I toured Australia with the with the Lions. I don't I don't I don't mean mean to patronise you or anybody of your listeners, but the Lions are basically the the England's sort of reserve team. Yeah, so the, the England Lions is of the England England cricket's reserve team. So in this instance we went out to um to Melbourne and Brisbane for Brisbane to start with in late November. The idea being that we would provide support to the the Ashes touring party. So a number of the players that weren't playing in their T Twenty games, um, the likes of uh, Rory, Rory Burns, um, Zach Crawley, and then later. <laughs> Sorry, um, Alex. Joe's just glazing over. <laughs> <laughs> I find it, I find it no, I'm not glazing over. over. I'm not glazing <laughs> over. I'm just. I, I, I'm coping is what I'm doing. Though. You're not a cricket fan, Joe. Right, not, not I, right. Total yeah. honesty, I I don't know anything about cricket, so you could be a plumber. Yeah, but to the point where you look down your nose at cricket. <laughs> I don't do this because the one thing I want to make clear is I don't want to be disrespectful in any way to, to you. Are you disrespectful when I talk about cricket? Only to you because you wind me up, basically. But Right, but, uh, but a little bit to uh, yeah. cr- cricket, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, don't do this. Look, so David, David's... Gets right. What happened was a few months ago, he bought. You up, look like you're struggling here, Joe. I'm not at all. I'm absolutely <laughs> fine. I basically he brought up cricket, and I said, "Ah, oh, I'm not really into cricket." And David got annoyed at me, and ever since he's been trying to occasionally get me to understand cricket, and that's what we do on a Monday. And then I don't know anything about cricket, so he's been, you know, sort of teaching me, and it's been interesting. But I honestly. That, it's great watching David have a nervous breakdown, knowing you're coming on, because honestly, I was so nervous. You, how many times have you have you actually played for the, you know the the front? Well, I've, I've, I've represented England twenty two, twenty two or twenty three times. I've represented England in a first class um, match three times. So the the tour to Australia recently was, um, as I said, to su- to support the. Um, to support the first team, the test team, and if there was any injuries to provide any cover. Um, and we played at Australia A in, um, at the Allen Border Stadium, which is just pretty close to where they played the first test match at the time. And um, I got naught and a one, and then I flew home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which I don't think you need to know a lot about cricket to go that naught and one is an opening. I, I got, I've got great. the feeling that that wasn't, that wasn't going to get you... But yeah, you must. But I'm just thinking about how because when I, I sort of played cricket when I was younger, and I played with some really good players, and um, one or two made it to county standard. But how how good were you? Just like you just must be in another level. So just to let you know, um, when Ben was chatting about cricket, pretending to be Alex. Joe just felt like, from what I could see, Joe's eyes were just glazing over. I, I really don't think he was paying much attention. And I actually found it a little bit disrespectful. And I'm glad that he wasn't a real cricketer. Because there's no way Joe was listening to anything that he was saying. Poor form on Joe's part. So when you listen to this next bit, just imagine Joe's got his chin in his hand and he's just stare. He's got a thousand yard stare and he's not listening well i don't think as a young man i necessarily was so i um i moved back to yorkshire when i was about 14 and it wasn't till i started playing youth cricket at yorkshire that i I started taking it seriously enough to think that you know it might be more than a hobby even if it was a a part-time employment or something like that um so i don't know i just think like most professional sports is it it's, it's not necessarily a difference in standard it's a difference in speed of how things quickly things happen it's a bit like football um you know the difference between the top level game and the, and the level below that is the speed at which it happens and i think that's very much the same in cricket you know whether you're bowling batting or fielding um or even watching sometimes the speed becomes an issue but um, I think that's just the adjustment that you have to make. And I think the earlier you do that, the best chance you've got. So I did play cricket for a long time when I was young and I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a young man. I mean, as you get older, you, obviously things start to change. I just had a, a daughter. So 
um, your focus starts to change. But yeah, I guess I was probably better than my parents thought I was going to be and probably not as good as I thought I was going to be. And what, what, what's your... What's your, <laughs> what's your specialism? Because David says, like, you know, obviously, do you mainly bat or mainly bowl? Or... Uh, yeah, so I mainly bowl. I, I open the batting. Oh, I, I would normally open the batting. So I open the batting in Australia. Um, and in, if, in a one-day game, so in a shortened version of the game, which we sometimes play, um, I sometimes do a little bit of bowling. Um, but that's more what? in the one in the short version Why of the game. Why do you only do a little bit? Um, right. Oh, because why, I'm not, why are I'm you not... smiling, Joe? No, I don't know. Because I was, right. I was like, I did. No, I can't do anything without you. Yeah, but I can see your lips. <laughs> no, going no, up. I was because I was like genuinely because that sounded like a funny thing to me. It sounded like like you just sort of went. I fancy. Well, it's it. like saying to Carl Walker, "Why don't you score goals?" No, well, it's I don't pathetic. know. I don't know. I wanted. To, sorry, I don't want to argue in front of you, Alex, because you seem like I love sorry, it. But, sorry, sorry. But yeah, well, why? No, no, you carry on. No, I really fine. need a piss. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why do? You, why do you only bowl a little bit? I genuinely. Well, so you well, hang on, Alex. Answer, you ask. Answer the question, Joe. What? You answer the question. Why? Yeah, that seems mad. Why do you think he only bowls a little bit? I don't know. Because, like, well, because he might have a specialism that's useful at the end of the game or something. Right. Right. What did you think I meant? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I genuinely don't I know. I just thought you knew about Alex. What? No, I want to know what, why, because why would you only, like, if you're, but you're, you're the, you're the best. Well, normally bat- fast bowlers are like. Oh, you're a fast uh, bowler? Just, no, but oh. Alex isn't, like, tall enough to be a fast bowler. Oh, do you have, do you have to be tall? Well. It, it helps. Right, but, okay. Yeah, it's mainly just because other people do more bowling other people do more batting, or are supposed to do more batting. Right, and that's um, you're, you're and open. So there you're... are some people in the middle. There are some people in the middle who do a, you know, might do a little bit of both, or might do a little bit of bowling and a lot of batting, just to help the side. Particularly in places like Australia, where although when we were there, it rained for uh, every day for four weeks. I've never seen anything like it. Right, um, how, really? How much so rain was, was it? So we arrived. I think it was on the twenty sixth of November, and we couldn't leave our, no the 16th of november we couldn't leave our rooms for two weeks obviously because of quarantine so we were in our own rooms oh, so how much rain was there and then it rained uh i would say it every single day i opened the curtains in the morning it was raining for four weeks bar about what, four all days day? all day all, yeah, yes so we we <laughs> were due to play we were due to for play four it. weeks <laughs> yes yes we were due to play two we i do to know you can't then play cricket games. I do know that. So this is this is the glamour of cricket. I uh, just not long had a, a daughter. It must so, genuinely though. Th- I, that's loads. Four weeks all day. And I think for a lot of the lads, it was difficult because this was quite a big opportunity to play with the. the... So as Ben continues to pretend to be an England cricketer, I, I can really see Joe zone out, and. Um, but honestly, I promise you that he wasn't he wasn't interested at all. But there is a nice little bit coming up here where Joe tries to make it light and make make a little joke and so he's trying his hardest to be fair to him, uh, to be fair to Joe. But when you listen to Ben chat, you have to pitch Joe zoning out. You know, that what would be considered to be the top England players, you know, for example, Joe, who's captain of, of of the test team was over early in Australia to practice. And it was us that we was, it was us that were supposed to be practicing with him both in practice matches and in the nets and training sessions, because we'd been brought together as a squad, because there was still a lot of lads playing out in um, other tournaments across the world. And, uh, you know, the excitement for me was going to be to go and play with those players um, and, you know, play in practice matches with the head coaches and all the staff watching. But uh, there was, a, we only managed seven training sessions in four weeks and then, as I said, we because had a test of the rain. match. Because of the rain, yeah. And then we had a test match in uh, in Melbourne, and I scored uh, one run right across two innings, and then flew home. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> flew home. I didn't fly home because... <laughs> Get on that plane. Get on that plane and think about what you've yeah. done. 
<laughs> yeah, and then we flew <laughs> home because that was our intention to be there to support the squad in the lead up to the Ashes, and then they they kept a few behind, but unfortunately, I wasn't one of them, which wasn't really a surprise to me. But we're uh, you know looking forward to the summer, and hopefully, the whole like I I I feel like I don't I don't know anything about cricket, but I'm trying to I'm trying to sort of get into it. What what what's are you? Well, yeah, for you. Trying to get in for you. Right. I don't want you to do it for me. Well, I do, but so I'm just sort of interested. Like, w- w- would you suggest like look at watching the what's the what's the glamour of tennis? Is there this, there's a shorter game, isn't there? Isn't that yeah? So it's it's called T twenty. T twenty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I You've play been on... quite vocal about that, Alex. Are, are you not a fan or? Well, it's not that I'm not a fan. I think it's a huge entertainer, and I've played in the T20 matches myself. Um, whilst, it, whilst it wouldn't be my strength, I think that I, I, there's been a lot of noise about English cricket going in the wrong direction and concern around the county game, and the people that have to make decisions about that will do that in due course, and I'm, I'm sure they'll make the right decisions. But actually, you know, in, for, in a position for you know for someone like me who's trying to you know trying to play Test cricket more regularly and trying to go all over the world to, to do that. The support facilities and the structure that young aspiring test cricketers are, unfortunately I'm not so young anymore, but the aspiring young test cricketers have here in England is second to nowhere in the world. I mean, the facility that I'm sat in right now is, you know, it's a top class facility that provides us with every opportunity that you would need to become a, a test player, a batsman, a bowler or, or what have you. There's a, you know, there's an area uh, the size of about four cricket pitches, which is basically under 24 7 cover in 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 the form of a tent and where they can where the ground staff can actually produce a pitch as if you were say in colombo or in australia or oh, in yeah. north wales wherever to prepare to prepare us not colombo the tv show <laughs> not colombo <laughs> Sri is that what you yeah. immediately went to um, <laughs> or are you actually listening? <laughs> no, I'm interested. Are you that... <laughs> listening? What's, what's Alex said over the last right, minute? Right, okay, you're in a really good place. It's got a pitch under under a tent that they grow grass differently in different ways. But, see? He's yeah, looking but, down his nose. No, I'm not. I'm, I yeah. summarised. I have, Alex, I'm not looking down. <laughs> David is trying to get Alex, me in trouble. do you ever watch Joe's TV shows? Um... I've seen, I have seen Joe, obviously, on the, you know, the shows where they, the quiz shows, the panel shows. I've seen a quite a few of those right, before. Right, right. Are I've you got, a fan uh, of those shows? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I think they're easy to watch. Right. Um, I don't, I'll have to be honest, I don't watch a, a lot of telly. Uh, obviously, right. our, our, everyone's watched our Afterlife, and, um, yeah. which is why I saw you in it, David. And then... And Derek? Um, and Derek, yes, I've seen Derek. Yeah. yeah, but that Joe, 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 what? Joe is Joe in <laughs> Derek? I'm really sorry, Joe. <laughs> That's all right. I know no, no. it's because it's Kevin, but I, oh, I love getting him getting his own medicine. This is fantastic. What about getting my own medicine? I've I did. I do really like the one on the Isle of Wight. That's really, really lovely. Lovely. Oh, great! Yeah, oh, that's stuff. nice. Thank you. Yeah, we wrote Thank that. You. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You both wrote that. Yeah. Oh wow! Well, well, that's. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, that was. I really enjoyed that. That was actually quite. Um, Joe was in that. The main. Joe was in that. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I have yeah. seen Joe on on the so Yes, he was the main. Yeah. I mean, my focus wasn't entirely on Joe throughout, for obvious reasons. But really, um, what's that? Yeah, that didn't didn't, fo- didn't like focus that. on me. Which I've, okay, okay. <laughs> Fair <enough. As> well. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Right. So here, Ben brought up my Twitch. Um, and the fact I play computer cricket on Twitch and he made out um, one of the England team is a big fan of watching me on Twitch and Joe definitely enjoyed this bit he he enjoyed how sort of uncomfortable and excited I was hearing the news when it's not true at all there are no England cricketers that watch me on Twitch but this is a nice little moment for Joe to watch me squirm but I was acting, I was pretend squirming in fact, one of the one of the lads here who has told me I am under no circumstances allowed to name him, um, whom I am absolutely sure you will know, um, was telling me about your uh, cricket that your uh, cricket game that you play. Oh, uh, I want and that, he, uh, and that he watches sometimes on on his phone. Your Twitch, um, David. 
Really? Yes, yeah, like a streaming game streaming thing. Yeah. <laughs> can you can you say who? Can you say? No, I, I cannot say who it is. I. I I can't. I just can't because they they saw me not say anything. David's got into this sort of spasm. Let's, you could imagine a you know a professional cricketer watching a an actor. Is it someone I know? On the computer. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Someone. I. Someone. Joe would probably know. Yeah. Oh, so like proper. Wow. Wow. If I. Yes. Okay, so I is... knew that. I knew that Joe. I knew that you liked uh, cricket, David, already before. And then um, I had a five-minute chat with Parky. Uh, what, he, wa- he watches me. Who watches no, me? No, oh, no. I can't <laughs> tell you that. No, I was just saying I knew you liked cricket because um, I, both. What are they? Lads... Do they? Uh, <laughs> do, they <laughs> do they watch me on Twitch? Do they follow me or? I don't like, know what it's called. I got Twitch. Honest, but... it's Twitch. I play, um, basically Twitch. I play Twitch, I play cricket, there's a great game called Cricket 22 and I play, I pretend to be, oh, right. basically I started it during the lockdown and I pretend to be England, it was just to get through because I had no way, but I pretend to be England manager and, and you pretend um, to be England manager, England manager. Okay. and uh, so, so I play cool. it most, what, Who, so someone watches me, <laughs> Yeah. from the England, well. what, are they playing for England now? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, they're in the England. They're they're in the England setup. But I, I don't I don't know if I'm really supposed to say, but um, there was another colleague of mine who was going to chat to you, I think, at some point, and he I had a quick chat with him, and he told me that you were a really big cricket fan and that you used to play cricket, and he knew someone that you used to play with or something like that. And then the, the other, and um, when I was talking to the other lad to say, oh, look, I'm going to be half an hour. Can you please let them know if if they come in and I'm not around? And he asked me what I was doing when I told him. He then told me. What I just told you about your uh, computer matches. Yeah. How are you coping, David? I need a piss. <laughs> Would you mind if I had a piss? No, no, of course not. Please do. You're going to go and have a wee? Yeah, I'm going to have a wee. Right, well, what are you here? Tell my wife. To me. Cool. <laughs> so I emailed Ben uh, this morning before this recording and said, How about if I go for a piss? halfway through the interview and I leave you with Joe because Joe will freak out uh, that he's one on one with you and he, w- he will have no idea what to say to you he'll be really needy um, he'll want you to be happy and enjoying the podcast um, and could you possibly just react to all of Joe's questions just with one word answers like yes no and could you Basically, could you act like you don't really like Joe and you're a little bit offended that he doesn't like cricket and blah, blah, blah. So this is, this is Joe one-on-one with Ben pretending to be an England cricketer. And Joe is really squirming here. And I'm definitely going to put the video up of this bit. Joe is way out of his comfort zone. Yeah, he's... Uh, if you listen back... If, if by any chance like, you listen back to this, you'll... Um, You'll hear how nervous David was before you came on. All right. He really didn't cope. <laughs> he was, uh, yeah, he, he was, he asked me the same question four times because he was sort of shaking with, because it's obviously cricket is, has been his sort of uh, boyhood thing. So, yeah, he's going to, I think he's going to have a lie down after this. All right. <laughs> um, so what's, to, what's today? Are you training? Uh, yeah. Basically, yeah. and uh, for for what for a tournament or uh, just for practice, just uh, get ready for the, the spring. Oh, okay, fair enough. But, so what? So what? What was asking you? You you bowl you bowl and bat. You because you open the batting. That means you're the best in the team, right? You're the no. Oh oh. What, what, so, so, but you, why do you open it? Like, I genuinely don't know a lot about cricket. What, you, if you're the opener, though, that must mean the, the pressure's on <coughs> you to kick, kick, the, kick the runs off. Yeah, that's right. Okay. But it, okay, I, I know nothing. But you bowl as well. Is that sort of, what sort of, yeah, a little bit. Spin and, is it spin? Sorry? Are you a spin bowler? Yeah. So, so genuinely, why do you, why do you only 
bowl a little bit. I, d I genuinely don't know. Is it just because there's so much, the game's so long, it's fatigue and that sort of thing? Uh, no, not really. Um, just because that's, that's just what they get me to do. Some people do, some people don't. Right, okay. You, do you know about any, like the overs or anything like that? I know, I know, I know the very basics. The thing, the, talking to David, because I haven't, the more he teaches me, the more I sort of, I, I appreciate the game. But because I haven't got in, there's so much to cricket, because I haven't, I don't know the ins and outs. It's quite difficult to watch cricket when you don't. So the more he's teaching me, the more I sort of, I'm getting the idea that I could watch it. And that's the plan. I'm going to go and watch a game with my mate and... Once, once David's given me the sort of uh, the lectures of how how the ins and outs of the games, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's back. Hello. Hey, welcome back. Nice week. Yeah, I can't believe it. I really want to know who watches me. <laughs> well, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll see if uh, they don't mind me letting you know privately, or then, or, or even if they could be like a reveal on the next um, podcast that you do. Yeah. But yes. Uh, I. That, that's just how I knew you were such a cricket fan. So. So when I got back from having a wee, Joe did not look happy. I thought he was really angry. Um, I don't think he was angry, I think he was just... Well, he basically says that he thought Ben or Alex, the England cricketer, really didn't like him. And I thought I'd... I honestly thought I'd gone a little bit too far and I thought he was fuming and he might get a bit arsy. Um, so over this next bit, imagine Joe looking sort of pissed off and he doesn't know what's happening <laughs> <laughs> what was it like when you first played for England uh, just scary just you know not sleeping not being able to hold the bat properly uh, he's constantly thirsty I don't know uh, you constantly just, thirsty yeah just constantly needing to drink water like a nervous thing but once you it, it comes back a little bit to what he said about the speed of things. So once, you know, as an opening batsman, the first sort of 30 or 40 balls that you face are, are everything. I feel like once I face those first 30 or 40, that everything becomes so much easier. Slowly but surely it becomes easier and easier and easier. And um, for me, that was just the, ner that, that's the, the trouble with being an opening batsman. If you've got your hardest period is at the start and that's, also when you're the most nervous for you know for what you're about to achieve everyone always talks about being nervous when you're on 99 not out or 149 not out well, actually you're not really nervous at that point because you've been batting probably for four hours you know you you've highly likely been playing very well to have got those runs so you're not really nervous there might be a mild anxiety about missing out on a on 100 but actually it's the start it's the start for me it's just been an issue. Um, so, for, for example, in Australia, I don't know, Dave, if you followed the Ashes very closely, but... Yeah, Scott I did Bowling, until we sort of, yeah. Scott Boland, the Australian yeah. bowler, didn't play in the first Test match because he was bowling at me. Um, so he what? got me out He got me out for, for one in the first innings and then How, zero in the What's second that innings. like facing him? He, he was probably the best bowler I've ever faced. I couldn't believe that he wasn't playing for Australia. And you look at how, and this is the other thing with the reaction to what happened to the to the lads in England, in Australia. And yes, obviously everyone's incredibly disappointed about what happened, and nobody has come back here with beaming, smiling faces or in 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 any way happy about it. But that bowling attack and the options they've got behind it are, are extraordinary. I mean, the fact that he didn't play in the first Test match, I thought he was almost unplayable because he's about six foot seven. He was bowling. He was releasing it from about seven foot ten, and the pitches were like you know were like concrete roads with grass on them. It, you know, and then that's the challenge of being an open batsman all across the world. But I was really, really couldn't believe that he wasn't playing. And then, of course, he went on to play in those Test matches and take all those wickets. So I was kind of man. man I can't believe. I just cannot imagine what that's. Any questions, Joe? Uh, <coughs> um, what's Loughborough like? 
The place itself is quite nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Are you out there for a while? Are you, are you, how, how long are you out there for? Yeah, so, so we're, we're here for a month at the moment. And then, like? <laughs> Mac is, Mac is at, there's a big university right. here, so it's quite a busy place. Um, you know, in the evenings, there's lots of nice places to eat, and, you know, and drink and have coffee and stuff like that. But the facilities here are sort of just designed to cover everything. So Mondays is, is, a, is a well-being and video day. So, um, you know, we'll do some... You have a choice, you know, I could maybe go and do some swimming or some biking and then I can go and speak to the video analysis um, team, the technical analysis team. Um, it'll basically just, you know, go through how and why I got out and then I'll have to explain to them that I just missed the ball <laughs> and I don't really know what else to say. And then we'll uh, go from there maybe for, um, you know, some physio or something like that. And then tomorrow we'll train again in the, um, so there's the out heated outdoor facility and then obviously an indoor facility and then because i've got a, a family at home I, I would usually go home on a tuesday or a wednesday evening um stay at home and then come back um and then i'll go home on a, on a friday afternoon before i go back to um my county which is uh, durham which is obviously quite away from love i was i was going to say how do you get Sorry, I was just going to ask, how Don't, did you... Uh, in answer to your question, left was very nice. Oh, right, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, got a big cinema, haven't I? I've just I've been there. That's the only bit I know. Yeah. Um, so how did you get picked? Did you go through the junior at Durham, or did you get scouted for Durham? No, so I, I went through all my junior cricket was at Yorkshire. So my... my, my my f grandparents live in, in Yorkshire, and I was born in Yorkshire. But then we moved uh, to Wiltshire when I was quite young. And then my dad semi semi retired, and took us back to be close to my his his mum and dad, my grandparents in Yorkshire, when it was, which is when I started playing um, for Yorkshire through the youth levels. And then I played all the way through for Yorkshire for the for the for the second team for all the junior levels and then broke into the first team in about 2010 maybe a bit a little bit after that and then three years ago i was loaned yorkshire loaned me to durham oh. um and then at the end of the they loaned me for six months sort of the three quarters of the season and then at the end of the season durham asked me if I'd like to, to sign a contract with them. So I'm currently contracted to Durham for another summer. Brilliant. And how, who, how are that? What's, I don't know nothing, but the is Durham uh, as good as Yorkshire, better than Yorkshire, or what's the kind of... Well, I mean, they're in the same, they're at the same level of cricket and right. the same standard. You know, what, you, you might argue that, or I would certainly argue that we have got a strong first-class team, um, a strong character championship team, and, and but so have Yorkshire. I, you know, a lot depends on the internationals. Um, I don't know if you follow rugby, but unlike football, rugby and, and cricket, when the international players leave to go and play international cricket, then that the the county side still carry on playing. Oh, do they? God, that's... yeah. So, so you so you, you could, could lose have a some really players. strong team, right? Yeah, yeah. So Yorkshire have traditionally had that issue. I say issue; it's not necessarily an issue for them, but. You know, they, they've had test match teams where there have been four Yorkshiremen or four Yorkshire players in the side. So then the Yorkshire county team plays without those players. But it gives the young people an opportunity to be able to play first-class cricket, which is actually quite a good idea, by. actually. Like, because you, you get, you get, a, you get a lot of players coming through. If you did it in football, I mean, you get a lot of players coming through. It's got a good idea, that. Yeah, yeah, but of course, so in football, it stops and everybody has to sit and watch. Yeah. Are you, ma are you, weird question, are you married? Yes, yeah, I'm married, yeah, I'm, uh, my, wa my wife um, and I have been married for about four years now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe, this isn't a cricketer. Oh, you twat. <laughs> Oh, right, okay. <laughs> right, I just looked up... Right, uh, okay. I, I knew it. I knew it. As soon as you started asking me about the county where I grew up playing cricket and all that, I knew you were looking at it. Right, okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You what the it. hell was that when he went to the loo? Because that was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I emailed... This is Ben who watches me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Because I was about to... <laughs> 
when I got back. Yeah. Oh my god! I was about to text you, but I didn't want to do this because I was about to text you. He fucking hates me. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay, that was horrific. I wanted off this call so badly. Is it? Is it yeah. Ben? Is it Ben? Yeah, I was so. I was ben, you're so incredible hard. because I... that. I was. Do you know why I didn't text you, David? Do you know why I didn't text you? Because I was about to go. Honestly, I, I was about to text you, and I said I didn't want to ruin it for you. Because I was like, I was going to get up. I was imagining FaceTiming you after and going, mate, I've got something to tell you. He fucking... T- it's one of the most boring... <laughs> I know. I was in my head just going, this has got to edit down. Oh, my stomach. This is going to edit down. Oh, my God. You don't... Oh, I looked, my stomach. Right, I looked at Alex oh, Reese and I was like, it doesn't look like oh. him. <laughs> oh god thank god that was a joke i'm not even joking honestly that was incredible that's like, when, when i said when i congratulated david on afterlife i was expecting you to say oh, hi mate <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, no, I, just, I was just like fucking hell right okay this is weird but oh. I i'm gonna let it go but when right when david when you oh. when you when you went for a pierce oh. that was the most yeah, what happened I went. I, I was just reaching for questions, and he he was going, "No, I'm." S- You've just been chatterbox. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of not doing chatterbox anymore because I was like, I can't do this if this happens again. <laughs> On my life, I was like, "No, I'm out. I can't interview." If this is how some interviews are going to go, I have to admit, your fucking sofa. I was like, God, the facilities are, are weird. Like, because I was like, why is he sat on the floor? I th- I thought, oh, you figure out how he sat on the floor? I was like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, and I, I lost confidence so quickly in that interview. I love, as soon as you appeared, I was like, God, you look like a cricketer. <laughs> really? I, I had to keep my... <laughs> I had to keep my coat on to cover up my chins like that. And, uh, what? I, my <laughs> my grey hair. Ju- sorry, can I ask how old you are, Ben? Can I ask how old you are? I'm about, I'm about 10 years older than... Yeah, because uh, he's 28 on here. <laughs> <laughs> David emailed me last night. He asked me to be a cricketer. So I had about five minutes to find someone who looked vaguely like me. And... Uh, yeah, apologies to Alex Lees, he doesn't look no, very No, he does, I've got him in front of me, he doesn't let anyone like it, I must have been going, look, honestly, Jeez. I'm looking, I've got Alex up on my screen, and it's nothing like you, but in the mid, because I was like panicking in this whole thing, I was like, well, maybe that's not, maybe there's another Alex Reese. I don't know. So. Exactly, that's the beauty of it. You know, we <sighs> set this up about two or three weeks ago on Twitch, Joe. Honestly, this, uh, this, this has been a long game. I haven't. I didn't enjoy a fucking second of that. <laughs> I, the relief is unbelievable. Oh fuck me! I, Honestly, it's such a boring conversation. I know, and I'm like, why is no one getting any doing anything? I I don't know anything about cricket. Oh, you wanker! I'm thinking about all your stupid wanking texts. Like, oh, I haven't got any questions. We'll just wing it, you prick. <laughs> Oh, I really want. I'm sort of cross and relieved at the same time. <laughs> I'm so nice to meet you, Ben. But you're, you're as a cricketer, oh. a fucking hard work. <laughs> uh, Joe, <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. So, it's, it, Joe, genuinely, is is a pleasure to meet you. I have, I've seen, I've seen all your, I've seen all your work. So, and uh, and all your yours and David's work as well. So I am. Uh, when when I when you went. David, and I was like, I thought, I'm going to, I don't know what to do, because I've had such a horrible conversation. You looked really pissed off when I got back. (laughs) Genuinely, you were like, oh, no, I was like, oh, is this going to go the wrong way? (laughs) Well, I was just like, I've got to keep it light, but I was like, God, David, don't keep asking fucking questions, just get off. (laughs) (laughs) David, could you hear the conversation when you're in the toilet? No, because you would have not. Oh, right, I okay. said to Nomi, I was like, "Fuck, I want to leave him down there for like ten no, minutes." No, honestly, I would have banged. Oh, I was stressing out. Uh, I was like, "Please, I heard the door, your office door go." Were you stressing, like, oh, God, babe? Were you stressing? Oh, I hated every second of it. <laughs> honestly, yeah. fucking Oscar win, Oscar winning though. He went honestly, David, like this. He was going, "No, ah, ah. <laughs> no." Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, and I'm going like this. I'm like in my head. I'm going, "This fucking all this isn't going in." 
Because oh, I was like going, so, so, absolutely so, 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 will be. So, 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 why, so why do you? Oh, I bet you sounded so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about sounding pathetic because it's not real. And I'm so relieved that that wasn't a real interview because that, honestly, I thought I was going to have to say to you, I can't do Chatterbix anymore. If, on the or get yeah. guests because I can't go. Now you've that. just got the uh, oh, hunger to do even more of it. <laughs> my feet are really sweaty. How, oh fucking hell! Well, thank you, Ben. That, well, not thank you. I hate you. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I'm, no, it's I'm sorry and happy. At You're the same amazing time, but... at that. You, but, but I oh, honestly, I feel like I want to take the day off because I'm yeah. sort of stressed and I'm still stressed. Yeah. Yeah. Come come down to Loughborough and have a relaxing <laughs> swim. <laughs> What's Loughborough like? What? I've no idea. <laughs> but I was like I was like David going, Well take over, you bloody organise this. Take <laughs> <laughs> No idea. Oh I'm bad. in Bristol. Oh, so you know, lovely I'm touch you put Alex Reese in the corner of Yeah, the... I did that as well. <laughs> oh Jesus wept. Good, good but, aren't we? Do you know what annoys me is we sort of talked about pranks, didn't we? And I thought, I don't want to go down that route because it's too stressful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I started worrying up there with Naomi. I was like, oh, God. Uh, anyway. Let's oh, that's so, crack so on. Ben, where are you in the world? I'm in Bristol. You're in at Bristol. The moment. Yeah. Where did Wiltshire yeah. come from? <laughs> Well, that's that's where I'm from. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, I just, when I thought about it last night, yeah, I just thought if I just stick to what I know, right. I'll probably be alright. I thought you'd give yourself a yeah, backstory. So, and... Anyway, Joe, this isn't Ben. This is actually Alex Reese. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I want, I want out. I want to go home. I am home. I just feel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. ben thank thanks, you so much. My, my pleasure, gents. Thanks so much. Ben, you're, well. you're, thank you, mate. Oh, I, I love you and hate you in equal measure at the moment, but I'll learn to love you more over time, I'm sure. <laughs> thanks, thanks, mate. For out for it. Thanks again. Stay, Cheers. Stay on. Cheers. I want to share with you. Thanks, Bye -bye. Ben. Oh, dear. Honestly, that was incredible. Great, wasn't it? He was so stressing me out. He was so stressing me out. I... Honestly, the fact that that's a um, prank, thank God. <laughs>